we certainly see today in this day and age the same kind of complaints that come against the church. We hear as Mary of Bethany has used this costly oil that costs about a year's wage, basically. The complaint that comes is, why wasn't this oil sold for 300 days' wages and given to the poor? And of course, there's the criticism that comes many times against the church where people say, why doesn't the church just sell all of its gold and give it to the poor? Sometimes I wonder why we don't hear people say the same thing about Buddhist temples or Hindu temples. But I digress. What we see in the gospel is someone who is worshiping Jesus extravagantly. This is an act of pure worship, giving basically everything. If you think about it, 300 days wages today would be anywhere between 30 to $50,000. Pouring it out and saying, Jesus, it's yours. The question we want to ask ourselves is, when we worship the Lord, do we pour ourselves out? And I know it's maybe difficult here at Mass to do this because when Mary did it, obviously it was noticeable. You could say it caused a scene. And certainly for us Catholics, we we don't want anybody showing off. But the question that we should be asking ourselves is... When I take time in my personal prayer with the Lord Jesus, am I willing to worship extravagantly? Am I willing to spend time with Jesus? Am I willing to pour out my heart, even as I say the same prayers I may be used to saying, especially here at Mass? Am I willing to give my all to it in the morning? We could certainly say that after the anointing of Jesus, the fragrance fills the whole house. And since Mary used her hair to anoint Jesus' feet and to dry them, she definitely ended up smelling like the king afterwards. And we want to ask ourselves the same question. Do I spend time with Jesus so much that I carry his fragrance? And if not, what can I do? How can I change my day-to-day routine to do just that?